funny but deadly. These big screen cartoon baddies aren't afraid to crack a joke while also trying to crack a hero's spirit. Perfect. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest animated movie villains. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at animated film antagonists that make us laugh till our sides hurt. Number 10. Russ Cargill, The Simpsons Movie As the supreme commander of the EPA, Russ Cargill may be the most successful man in America, but he's also heading the least successful government agency. At least according to him. I'll take care of everything. You know nothing. But that's the root of what makes him funny, as he takes his job description in a benign part of government to comical extremes. Well, always leave him laughing. Cargill is voiced by Albert Brooks, who Simpsons fans know as the voice of another memorably funny Simpsons villain, Hank Scorpio. Hammocks? My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? Hammocks! Coincidentally, they originally planned to reuse Scorpio for the movie. And you can certainly hear shades of the benevolent supervillain in some of Cargill's most quotable lines. You ever try going mad without power? It's boring. No one listens to you. Number 9. Victor Vector Perkins, Despicable Me. I'm applying for a new villain loan. Go by the name of Vector. In a movie franchise built around the comedic side of villainy, you need an antagonist that can really make them laugh. Pretty impressive! Thankfully, Despicable Me's Vector really delivers. As the son of the owner of the Bank of Evil, Vector fits into the spoiled, bored rich kid archetype perfectly, becoming a thorn in the side of the hard-working and empathetic Gru right from their first encounter. <laughs> He's flashy and annoyingly talkative, but as irritating as Vector is, he's also a fantastic slapstick character. It's hard not to crack up whenever he fires his trademark squid launcher, or uses his butt instead of his fingers on his keyboard. <laughs> now maybe you'll think twice before you freeze someone's head! Number 8. Captain Hook, Peter Pan And where do you think you are going? One of Disney's most recognizable and cruelest villains, Captain J. Hook is as fun to laugh at as he is to fear. Though he's presented as a fearsome and murderous pirate consumed by his hatred for Peter Pan, Disney also deliberately softened his dark edges with more humorous qualities that make him surprisingly endearing. Now let me see, where was I? Hook's obsessive vanity gives him an air of pomp and campness that's easy for his enemies to mock. His temper tantrums are constant fuel for slapstick gags, and his crippling fear of the tick-tocking crocodile with a taste for his flesh leads to some hilarious chase scenes. <laughs> Number 7. Randall Boggs, Monsters, Inc. What do you know? It scares little kids and little monsters. Considered by fans to be one of Pixar's most memorable villains, Randall Boggs is a slimy and conniving scarer. I wasn't scared. I have... Allergies. His intense rivalry with the top scaring team at Monsters, Inc., Mike and Sully, pushes him to stop at nothing to be the best. Sullivan was twice the scarer you will ever be. And a lot of his humor comes from his physicality. As a long, chameleon-like creature with big, googly eyes and a crooked grin, Bog's scuttling movement and hunched standing pose make you laugh even before he opens his mouth. Don't you think I'm aware of the situation? His skin's ability to replicate its surroundings creates visual jokes too, often cartoonishly changing as an involuntary response to his feelings, like a blush from embarrassment. Looks like you're out of a job. Number 6. Buddy Pine, Syndrome, The Incredibles. After all, I am your biggest fan. Syndrome is a classic example of a hero gone bad. After he's brushed aside by his idol, Mr. Incredible, when he attempts to become the Robin to his Batman as Incrediboy. My name is Incrediboy. Buddy Pine embarks on a vengeance-fueled mission to make all superheroes obsolete. Syndrome's humor is thanks to the over-the-top comedic stylings of Jason Lee, who plays up the stereotype of an obsessive fanboy with way too many toys to play with. The Incredibles is Pixar's homage to the superhero genre, and Syndrome is a suitably hilarious take on seethingly jealous supervillains who just love the sound of their own voices too much. Oh, don't worry, I'll be a good mentor. Supportive, encouraging, everything you weren't. Number 5. Lord Farquaad, 
Shrek. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man! Half human, half dwarf, and 100% villain, Lord Farquaad is DreamWorks' witty, gender-swapped take on Snow White's evil queen right down to the magic mirror in his castle. Mirror, mirror on the wall, is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? Farquaad's diminutive stature is a constant source of humor throughout the film, including the perspective trick used when we first meet him, as well as Shrek's comment that the excessive height of his tower might be to, um, compensate for something. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> his pursuit of perfection in Duloc, and his desire to become king push him to levels of manic absurdity, helped by brilliant voice acting from comedy legend John Lithgow. The ogre has fallen in love with the princess! And, as if that weren't enough, his name is secretly an explicit insult, if you say it fast enough. I've tried to be fair. Number four, Lord Business, The Lego Movie. Oh, wow. That was a great, inspiring legend that you made up. Lord Business is the villainous counterpart to President Business. And from sitcoms to voting machines, Business keeps tight control over Lego citizens without their knowledge as the charismatic president of Octan. Would you cancel my two o'clock? This next meeting could run a little bit deadly. But as soon as he puts on his hilariously oversized crown and stilted shoes, he transforms into the mean and ruthless Lord. He also mistakes objects from our world as mystical items, leading to some amusing renaming of household products. Nobody knows where this stuff comes from. This one is the Cloak of Bandaid. Voiced by Will Ferrell, Business is a caricature of a cold-hearted businessman through the eyes of a child. The movie also paved the way for Lego's funny take on another comic book villain, the Joker in the Lego Batman movie. Do you realize that you have never once said the words, I hate you, Joker? Number three, Saddam Hussein, South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. Meet Saddam Hussein, my new partner in evil. After kidnapping Celine Dion and nearly conquering Canada in the South Park TV show, the former Iraqi president is killed and winds up a permanent resident of hell. This is far from the end of Saddam's story, though. In the South Park movie, we discover that Saddam and Satan are ruling hell as an evil power couple. Saddam, would you let me do my job, please? Saddam is unexpectedly and hilariously even more wicked and domineering than the devil himself, as he attempts to manipulate Satan into using his powers to take over Earth. Matt Stone's high-pitched, whiny voice for Saddam also defies what you'd expect, making him all the more hysterical no matter what he's saying. Ah, boy, I'm so excited! Just one more day until we can take over the world! Number two, Hades, Hercules. I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat, huh? Considered to be one of the most popular and beloved Disney villains, Hades is a unique and highly comical take on the Greek god of the underworld. You know, I know, I got it, I got the concept. The casting of James Woods was instrumental to Hades' humor, as prior to that, he was originally written as a darker and more serious bad guy, similar to The Little Mermaid's Ursula. I truly think he does. In fact, Woods' inspired characterization of the hot-tempered deity as a fast-talking salesman-like character cloaking his dark aspirations and sarcasm and misdirection, draws most of the laughter throughout the film. So much so that you almost wish things would go his way in the end. Guys, get your titanic rears in gear and kick some Olympian butt! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Regal, dignified, sincere, masterful, noble, chival... Don't, 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 don't overdo it, yes. Uh, that, I believe, does it. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! Oh, y'all cold-blooded. Oh, man, you remind me of my boy Ricky. He died, though. R.I.P., Ricky! We have big dreams, and we will do anything to make them come true. Have any of you ever dreamt of working for the greatest supervillain of all time? Number one, Yzma, the Emperor's New Groove. It is no concern of mine whether your family has, what was it again? Everything about Yzma screams classic Disney villain. From her head to toe black and purple aesthetic to her Cruella de Vil inspired design. She's also a send up of other iconic Disney villainesses like Ursula and the evil queen from Snow White, who yearn to be young and beautiful again. This had better be good. 
but unlike them, Yzma's vanity and old age are played for laughs rather than scares. With Emperor Kuzco zooming in on all her worst features in his inner monologue when firing her as his power-hungry advisor. Whoa, look at these wrinkles. What is holding this woman together? Yzma is voiced by Eartha Kitt, whose sultry gravitas and scenery chewing completely sell the character. Alongside her pretty but dumb henchman Kronk, Yzma is as side-splittingly funny as she is malicious. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever! Huh? Why do we even have that lever? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.